it, and I don't have like, all I have is creek water. Hell yeah. Bye forever. I love you. Love you. Bye. Yeah, they were logging out here for um, about three weeks. And yeah, like what he said is true. For the past couple weeks, they haven't been logging adjacent to us. And there's only two areas left within there um, that they haven't clear cut yet. Um, so they've cut probably like close to 80 acres out of 100 that they intended to. Yeah, we contacted the company and said, um, We'll, we'll come down from our tree sits as soon as you file the completion paperwork um, confirming that you're actually done logging within this timber harvest plan because they had only said that they were done logging for the season. And they...
yeah, that's right. Yeah, so I, I believe that they're also um, running machinery in the unit on McNeil Creek that's across from the rest area. I know that's kind of, it's kind of a separate mission, but I know they're working there today also. Um, yeah. Yeah, like, it, do you... Um... Like, they're, you know, like, the, um, the road is on the east side of them, and the clear cut is kind of, like, on the northwest side. Remember last time, there's, like, this specific type of flower you had to find in order to know the way. Oh, wow. But the problem is I went, like, too far down the trail, then I ended up just walking around and it's like completely different. Time to see. Yeah. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? A lot of the sits that are up here, we like put up overnight, and then we'll just like work on it slowly. So like this one, we discovered this timber harvest plan, and like, or like we came here and like, we're looking at the documents online and looking at like the marks on the ground and stuff. And Hillside and our friend Sasha like found this tree is like the biggest one in the plan. And we saw that they weren't allowed to start cutting for like another month or two. So we like actually had time to set everything up slowly and stuff, which is nice. But since then we've just been tying stuff in. So like first we just had this and like a couple other trees tied in and now there's like 15 or something. So like the, there's like, this is the guest tree. So people who come through will stay there. And when like tying traverses between the trees is just like when we protect a greater area because in theory, like, if they tried to come and cut anything nearby, like, the traverse would make it, it unpredictable how the tree falls, you know? That's so cool. So it would be, like, dangerous for the loggers and dangerous for us if it's connected to the tree we're living in. And we cross the traverses, we can, like, get on them and, like, sometimes visit each other or... When there's actually like weight on a, on a harness like that, it usually helps a lot to tighten it up if you sit down so all the heavy things can rest on the ground. Oh, just like sit on the ground? Yeah. Oh. Then see. you can like get all the weight that off makes of sense. it. So it looks like you could probably take, you could probably shorten it a little bit. Uh, like wait, this one? Yeah. Or... Uh, yeah. Yeah, that looks like it'll probably keep it up from under your foot. Yeah, and now you, I take the rest of the slack, and do you know how to do a daisy chain? Not really, honestly. All right, you just take, make a bite, and then... We think where they're parking the machinery at night and so where they would be if there were guards is like directly up the hill. Oh yeah, I see.
I think the downline might be long enough that like. If, as the platform goes up, there'll still be like extra line on the ground, okay. which could be like used to kind of guide it if it's not going. Okay. If we're getting stuck on the way. I don't think I can. I'll just go. Woo, woo. Everyone watching it, like, knows how that shit went down, but it's, like, not in the movie. <laughs> right, totally. <laughs> it's not in there. Maybe somewhere somebody watched it and was like, oh, yay, they're doing a good job, and it worked. <laughs> <laughs> they saved the trees. They saved the trees. It's like, huh, well, wait, I didn't see those trees when I went to Berkeley. <laughs> Yeah, we were watching it with our, our friend who was there for a lot of that, and she kept being like, that's weird, they're leaving out a lot of important stuff, <laughs> like all the worst parts. And then it was like, oh, they made this nine months into the campaign, which went on for like two and a half years or something. I was so hopeful with all these people talking about how they were like, oh, this court decision's going through, we like really believe, you know, that they're going to put an end to this, and this is what the geologists say, and this is what they... And like, you know, it, it just, it seemed very much like, like it was, it was going really well and it was, <laughs> fuck. Well, I feel like with a lot of the stuff, it's like, there's no way they're actually going to do that. You're like, there's no way they're going to actually, like, cause it's, un I, to me, it's unfathomable. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, the, the, the tone of the, in that movie was the, in the, the, the like that film definitely left you with the feeling of like, oh, these people are told like there's no way they're actually gonna are gonna like have this. these people are definitely gonna win. Look, everybody loves them.
Oh, this she isn't. Did. A... She oh. Uh, okay, this can be soft. No, why are they pink? No, these are real nice though. I'm set up like there's the tarp, there's like the top of the tarps that you can see inside. And then there's that other five by eight, like a ways above that. And then there's like fabric above that. And now, and when it really starts raining, I might like wrap another piece of tarp, like literally have like five feet of different like levels of rain diverting mm, things. Like they don't. Man, feels like rain. Yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 